Ever wondered how to make the best Louisiana jambalaya? The secret lies in the ingredients and the process. Today, we're embarking on a culinary adventure that will transport us straight to the heart of the Louisiana Bayou, all from the comfort of our own kitchens. To conjure up this flavorful dish, we'll need a selection of ingredients that scream Cajun. Let's start with half a pound of smoked sausage, halved and sliced. Add to that two chopped celery ribs, one large chopped onion, one medium chopped green pepper, and five chopped green onions. We'll also need 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of dried thyme. To spice things up, we'll add half a teaspoon of black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of Cajun's favorite cayenne pepper. We'll also need two cans of 14 ounce chicken broth, a cup of uncooked long grain rice, a third of a cup of water, four teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and finally, two pounds of peeled and deveined shrimp. Now that we've gathered our ingredients, it's time to get cooking. First, we need to give our smoked sausage a nice brown sear. It all starts with heating a splash of oil in a Dutch oven over medium heat. As the oil warms, we're going to add in our halved and sliced sausage. Let it sizzle and pop, cooking and stirring until it's kissed with a light brown sear. The aroma will be tantalizing, but don't rush. We want that perfect caramelization. And once it's done, we'll remove the sausage and keep it warm. With our sausage cooked and set aside, we can move on to the vegetables. Next up, we're going to saute our vegetables until they're tender. Dive right into the pot where you've just cooked your sausage. You'll find it slick with flavorful drippings. This is where we'll saute our celery, onions, green pepper and green onions. Toss these fresh, vibrant vegetables into the pot. Let them sizzle and dance in the heat, absorbing the savory drippings. As they soften, their colors will deepen and their flavors will meld with the smoky essence of the sausage. Now let's not forget our garlic. It's time to invite it to the party. Stir in the minced garlic, letting it cook for just a couple of minutes. You don't want it to burn, but instead to release its aromatic essence, creating an intoxicating blend of aromas that represent the very soul of Cajun cuisine. Now that our vegetables are perfectly sauteed, it's time to add some more flavor. We're about to turn up the heat with some spices and rice. Now comes the magic moment, when we blend in the heart of Cajun flavors. Let's stir in the diced tomatoes, thyme, salt, black pepper, and a dash of cayenne for that extra kick. Allow these ingredients to mingle and cook for about five minutes, letting the spices infuse their flavors into the mix. Next, we add a savory element, chicken broth. Pour it in and watch as it transforms our concoction into a rich, hearty mixture. Now it's time to introduce the star of the show, the long grain rice. As we sprinkle it in, let's also drizzle some Worcestershire sauce for that unique tangy twist. Stir it all together and bring this flavorful mix to a boil. Once it's bubbling, reduce the heat and let it simmer. As the rice absorbs the broth and spices, our jambalaya starts to come alive. With our jambalaya simmering away, we're almost at the finish line. For the final step, we're going to bring back our sausage and add in our shrimp. Now this is where all the magic happens. With the richly seasoned broth still simmering, reintroduce the lightly browned sausage, stirring it gently to ensure even distribution. Now it's time for the shrimp. Sprinkle them into the mix, ensuring they're submerged in the broth to absorb all those incredible flavors. Remember, shrimp cook quickly, so keep an eye on them. Once they turn a vibrant pink and curl into a loose C shape, you'll know they're done. And there you have it, the perfect Louisiana jambalaya, Enjoy this delicious Cajun dish.